more chores. Darn. It doesn't stop, it seems. Good morning from Little Creek Bee Ranch, just full of tips. All right, don't know if anybody's ever shown you this. This is a pan that's got canola oil on it, pretty liberal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna melt out some wax from the queen excluders. If you use queen excluders, you'll run into this issue where it's so gummed up with wax all over that it really limits airflow and we really wanna replace the queen excluders. Airflow is really, really important to the bees and to me. So what we'll do is we'll use a, this is just an old lid, you know, and we'll uh, coat it with canola oil really nicely, liberal with the canola oil. Take an old box, an old brood box I use, and uh, we'll just set it on top, just like that. And we'll take the green excluder, and we'll just set it on top, like so. And some of the students, they'll be doing this this summer. This is a big wax harvest. Then we use a Coleman little propane bottle, camping bottle from Walmart and a blowtorch. Get some heat going, serious heat. Balls on it here, it is. Oops. All right. Cool. Don't burn yourself. Don't do this unsupervised if you're a child. And I just say. Okay, so we're going to blow out the wax, just melt it. And you just want to keep it moving, you just don't want to leave it in a certain spot. That will heat up the wire and let a lot of that wax just fall on through. And we'll do one side, work on it pretty good, and then we'll turn it over into the other side, and then turn it over one more time. And you'll... Now you can scrape and scrape and scrape, and you can have fun scraping, and you can get a fork that they make at the bee supply houses. Then scrape and scrape. I'm tired of scraping. There's so much scraping and beekeeping. Melting's good. <laughs> Get it done, baby. And you just want to keep it moving. You don't want to, you know, heat the wires up to where they're glowing. We will work on this. <clears throat> okay, so now the canola oil on the pan won't let the wax stick tight to the to the pan, okay? So so later when it cools, we just come back in, just pull up the wax and throw it in the bucket and go on. Very nice. But when we do inspections, we'll have a lot of these where the queen scooter is just really bound up. And we really do want to replace that. And when we come in and get all the equipment back, not, not really the same day, maybe the next day or that week, we'll have a half dozen of these queen excluders to do like this. And to get them blown out and cleaned up, goes pretty quick. <clears throat> now, if you're heating up the queen excluder, I like metal bound queen excluders. I don't really like the wood bound queen excluders. They rot on the edges. <clears throat> we have a pair of uh, pliers over there that will grab the queen excluder and turn it over, okay? So just doing this one side to show you how quick this is. And this is a big wax harvest. I treat the queen excluders as an intentional wax harvest. When they get all gummed up like this, and I don't bother scraping them, I, I will 